Hey, my shining stars. I hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing. All right. For my new subscribers. I said that again. Let's roll it back. Let's roll it back. Mwah, mwah, mwah. For my ride and dice It's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time mwah, mwah, mwah. For my new subscribers mwah, mwah, mwah. For my energy exchange 10 hundred pull right back at ya What you sow on this channel You shall always reap 100 It is so, so be it And I Shay. On the flip side, looking good, smelling good, like I should, sitting on my throne, standing in my truth, speaking my truth. Can't stop, won't stop, ain't gonna stop nothing up in here. And that is 100. It is so, so be it. And ah, Shay, some of me. All right. So we are on the side of. Libra, bam, there it is, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Um, cross watcher. Anybody that got Libra in their chart, which is everybody, so it could resonate, all right? This reading right here is a beautiful reading, but I'm trying to figure out some, <laughs> something just ain't right. But I'm just going to go on head on with it. And I guess whatever ain't right is going to come on out. Because your overall energy is happy family. Now, you got happy family, right? You got the, the wife. I mean, you got the, yeah, you got the wife. You got the husband. You got the two kids. They all at the beach they full of happiness joy because everybody is content with each other everybody is showering love and whatnot i don't know why i feel like something's not right but hold on a minute so what i'm focusing on and what i'm seeing is the rainbow They're all facing this rainbow. They're all looking unto this rainbow. And if you, if you, you know, um, I'll just say, the rainbow is symbolism of a promise. The Most High God gave us that rainbow because it was always a promise. It was a promise. That he would never flood us again like that it was a promise but still whenever you see a rainbow it's a promise that's been a promise that was a promise between you and the most high god but we see that this is a family oh and the reason why it's like this why i'm doing it like this and i really don't I'm just letting it come out because I didn't ask a question. So it's whatever. But this is about a family. A promise. Come on, spirit. What I'm getting is a promise was made. It's either a promise was made to this woman. Um that she will have a happy family after a lot of trauma a trauma a tra what, what a lot of trauma a lot of um hardships a lot of pain a lot of suffering she will one day have this happy family children and she will have a husband excuse me this man 
was made a promise. He's also looking at the rainbow and seeing that a promise has and recognizing that a promise has been made to him that he will have a wife he will have a family that loves him that supports him and wants and, and will never leave him will be, he will have everlasting commitment he will have a strong connection to his children and connection to his wife a promise a promise of stability you have a four here stability stability means stable grounded and rooted marriage a connection a bond that's unbreakable that's stable this means that this family this family structure not only will it be stable and grounded is as as far as a connection but it also will be um grounded in sorry i'm so tired guys <laughs> but i'm being i'm doing what i'm supposed to do right anyway stable and grounded financially the promise that whatever it is um financially that they um need they will have they will be very abundant they will ha all their needs will be met financially all their bills will be paid financially this is according to the promise both of this both these this woman and this man wanted children they wanted children with each other now some of these instances they will have children i'm just reiterating the promise here i don't know where the spirit is going with this i'm just speaking um and some of and some of them it will be a blended family they both will bring children into the marriage okay but this is a promise Spirit, where are you going with this? I have no idea. Okay. That's okay. Because, okay. Okay, I think, okay, let me just, okay. This promise is coming to these people and this is awakening. This promise is, is this promise is being awakened or this promise is coming towards these two individuals um, because both individuals have tapped into their spiritual this spiritual self. This was part of the awakening. They both have awakened spiritually, however, they didn't remember about the promise. They knew and okay so for some of you you're waking and sorry okay some of you you're awakened but you you've forgotten about this promise this promise towards you and this this masculine energy is your soulmate is your divine soulmate however spirit is using me and using this time to remind you of this promise some of you um are awakened spiritually but you forgot about the promise that was made to you in regards to this happy family um some of you are because of so many things have happened to you through your spiritual through your awakening and through your spirituality you don't believe no longer have faith in you having a happy family 
you're no longer believing in this because you have had so much trauma and so many things happen to you so many people uh uh hating on you so many so many people trying to kill you some so many people trying to destroy you you've had so many hardships and pain and suffering that you have even though you are awakened even though you're more spiritual even though you have vibing this right here you forgot the promise you was promised something you was promised that if you fulfilled your purpose if you fulfilled your destiny you were awakened and you fulfilled your calling that you will have this happy family this was promised to you but what i'm feeling is that you've forgotten or you have lost faith in this happy happy family you've lost faith into this divine connection you've lost faith because you're too old to have kids or you're too old to to have a baby or take care of children or you don't want to have children anymore because you just feel like you're too old that dream is over that's over with but this because you're too old to have children does not mean that you cannot have children that come in your life and be able to have an extended family where you could have a happy family life a happy connection a happy um worth a happy um household full of love full of um affection full of uh family members who really care about each other something is lost here something is here that spirit is trying to get you to understand that because of your awakening or because of what you had to go through to awaken to awaken into your dark night of the soul and all of that other stuff has nothing to do with this promise has nothing to do with the false twin has nothing to do with the fake twin it doesn't have anything to do with a karmic twin or a karmic soulmate this this happy family has nothing to do with what you had to go through in the past only thing that spirit wants you to under to to recognize and to to keep is that the promise that he or she made to you is still in effect it's still here when god makes a promise to you is it's it doesn't matter what we have to go through the promise is because we had to go through something don't mean that the promise is gone you got to keep the faith this is about something that's coming towards you but because you no longer have faith in it no longer believe in it no longer um think that it's possible spirit is trying to bring this up to get you to understand that it's still relevant it's still here for you um and the promise is still in effect wow i feel the energy off of that not only not only did you fulfill your spirituality and you're still going through it and you high vibing but you're a star seed so you have a double mission 
some I'm talking to some of you who have a double mission people who have a double mission really have go through the ringer because you got one mission then you got another mission you got one initiation then you got another initiation you got one thing you get hardship and struggle that you and test that you got a test to go through then you got another test you you got these people who go through their spiritual awakening and then spiritually tested in purpose and destiny and then your star seed the star seed have their own purpose and destiny for existence so you went through both of these meaning that you had a hard way to go and so spirit is not saying that spirit is not saying that what okay what i want to say is that spirit is understanding why you are in a position why are you thinking the way you're thinking because you had to go through all of this but the reason why this card came out is because spirit is wanting to wake you up spirit is wanting to get you to understand that this is still in effect and so much now that you have fulfilled this is really really getting ready to come in for you because you deserve it you deserve this love you deserve this family you deserve this affection you deserve this um this 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 unconditional love that is going to be presented to you within this union and you're not only having a union with a man or with a woman but you're having a union with a a child with children so much so that it is a unbreakable bond a family union a family unit is going to come together and no one is going to be able to break it this is a promise that was made to you and it's really gonna come to you because i'm talking to both i'm talking to those of you that has fulfilled this and those of you who have fulfilled this and those of you that have fulfilled both of them it's still a promise and spirit is want to wanting to express this to you it's a lot of emotions whomever i'm speaking to whom whomever i'm rec uh, resonating with this is a lot of emotion that's here you cried a lot of tears you 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 were you were heartbroken um beyond repair if it wasn't for God, you wouldn't be in your right mind right now. You love the wrong man. You love the wrong woman. But you've learned since then. You've learned so much, so much since then. That without loving that person, you wouldn't be the person you are today. You never would have gotten through to the other side and you understand that but what you have what you have forgotten is that yes you love the wrong person and was heartbroken and was um, torn to pieces and your heart was torn into pieces and you had to learn how to put your broken heart back together again and heal and you had to learn how to um, love and trust again and be able to open um, up, open up to another again and you had to learn how to um, be able to um, be by yourself and be single and 
um, give yourself unconditional love and love yourself and even though you're single even though you don't you you did you fell in love with the wrong person you learn how to love yourself and accept your flaws and accept who you are you learn the most valuable lessons about who you are through all of this hurt and all of this pain when you got through with acknowledging everything concerning the situation and you looked at yourself again you was able to acknowledge just how beautiful you are it takes a beautiful soul to be able to recognize their beauty after the storm all after the storm all the glass and all the dirt and all of the branches and all of the stuff debris has to be cleaned up but once it's cleaned up then everything looking spanking brand new and beautiful again all it has all only thing that has to happen is a little hard work you did that hard work and at the end of the day you are absolutely beautiful inside and out you learn that you don't necessarily have to have a woman in your life you don't necessarily have to have a man in your life but what you do have to have is the most high god you do have to have a belief in yourself you do have to have love for yourself you do have to always tell yourself the truth and always be truthful and honest and be authentic to who you truly are you learned that you stood by that and you stand by that today and because of all of that i just said you have hands down become the most beautiful soul after the storm but spirit is wanting you to understand that even though you recognize that you are a beautiful soul and even though you recognize that um and you love yourself spirit wants you to understand that it's not finished it's not done you're not done and you're not finished because remember when spirit said that thy should not live alone thy should not be alone right well i know that who i'm speaking to have already made it in their mind it's been a while it's been a, a long time it's been a long journey that they have put it in their mind that it is a great possibility that they will be alone but spirit is saying today spirit is wanting you to understand if you clicked on this message today at this time and in this hour spirit is wanting you to recognize and want you to remember the promise the promise that was made to you that you will never be alone you were never alone when you're single but now it's time for you to join together and to have this happy family that was already written in the stars this family was already have your name on it this man this woman already have your name upon their forehead these children already are your children it's already established in the ethers that you are not to be alone you've did the work you've did everything that the most high has asked you to do you just have forgotten what was promised to you and spirit is saying 
that it's time for you to hold that back in your heart. It's time for you to put that back in your mind. It's time for you to remember the promise that was made to you because it's time for this promise to be fulfilled. You deserve it. It's yours. No one can take it away. And you've earned it. Congratulations. Um, so your spiritual message, I said, okay, God, why, what is this about? <laughs> your spiritual message is the sun. Enjoy success and happiness. I said, what's this? What is this? So just what I said, it's time. It's time for the promise to be fulfilled. Enjoy your success and your happiness. It's yours. You earned it. <laughs> Keep the promise alive. Keep the hope. Keep the faith alive it is yours it's coming wow the sun so the sun is shining bright the light is shining bright over this family over this manifestation to come forth so it's any time now any day now but you have to remember you have to remember the promise because the fa this family is not going to come in if you don't remember. Because what you would do is reject it. Because you've been through so much. And if you don't believe and you don't remember, you will reject. If this man or if this woman come in, um, you will reject it. So you have to remember it first. You have to remember the promise. Because it's ready to manifest in, to come in. But you have to remember because spirit says the way it is, the way your mind is, what you're comfortable with being single, you're comfortable with being alone. You've been alone all this long time. Uh, everybody is not right. People don't do right. People lying, you know, all of these different scenarios you've been through. But this is manifestation to come in for your happiness. So this is real. But if you don't remember the promise, you will reject this. That's why you must remember. That's why this came out. Because for those of you that that this message is for, it would awaken you. You will remember. It, you will remember. It may not be right now, but I'm planting that seed. So maybe when you go to bed tonight, maybe when you go to sleep, you'll be able to remember. Maybe something will trigger. Maybe something you watch on TV. Maybe something, it will trigger you to, to remember that about this promise. Hit the comments and let a sister know because I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this has been your reading. Hit the comments and let a sister know, you know, because I don't know. <laughs> All right, so uh, let me know if y'all know what I'm talking about here, what spirit is talking about, okay? Hit the emojis if you're still rocking with me. You know, thumbs up, thumbs down, just thumbs the channel. It helps the sister out. You guys really been um, hitting it up, and I'm just thankful. Please, please hit it. Keep continuing to hit it, hit it up. Hit it down. It don't matter, right? Share, 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 subscribe. Hey, for those of you that's just been watching, it will behoove you to subscribe. When I go before the throne and I ask God to protect my channel, protect my subscribers, to, when I pray for my subscribers, when I ask God about my subscribers, what need to come out for my subscribers, what do I need to tell them, What do I, you will be included. If you're not subscribed, you just flat out will not be included. It may resonate here, may resonate there, but it won't resonate. Okay? So, 
subscribe um description box all of my information is in this description box um no personal readings right now it's closed um social media hit the social media i need to put some more pictures on there i got some i just haven't put them on there yet um so um hit the notification bell sending you love sending you healing trinity is 